we are back checking out more Takara cards, starting a new journey today about character creation. In addition to species and appearance, you will also choose your reputation and with it your starting karma. Karma influences your attributes and fate. All actions, or all action brings karma, which attracts events and eventually forms new reputations for your character and ship. This sounds way more interesting and complex than the tutorial was. These reputations attract more events, creating a cycle. All right, choose a species. W, under development. Okay, so this is like going through looking at them. We can be the dwarves. Dwarves are awesome. Let's do this. Origin originating from the tempestuous planet Perunutu. Yeah, that's what we're going with. The children of the Nins <laughs> Ninkasi. Ninkasi? Yeah. Are known for their impetuous. Every destroyed enemy feeds their potential just as all wasted energy discourages them. Hmm. Okay. Starting reputation. In addition to its own effects, every reputation comes with a karma. Karma adds up and gets and get karmas add up and get even stronger, sometimes enhancing the effect of reputations. Okay, we all know I'm terrible at reading. I can get luck. After each jump, earn 300 cents per rich. Golden Cradle, rich. Sweet talk. First cell of equip earns plus that's a lot. Rational. I'm super rational. More XP. Naive prodigy. Kind. Intelligence. Knack level influences the cost of new maneuvers. In the first levels, it's easier to train. That one actually sounds like it's probably really good. Metal Ancestry. Wait, this sounds good for a dwarf. Game Impetuous. You already have Impetuous. After using Scrap. That might be what we go with. We're going to be the Metal Dwarfs. Expanded Debit. That. Yes, Expanded Debt. Cursed. Doubles Debt Limit. Hope. Fixes hole when leveling up. Fixes equip when leveling up. Okay. So we're gonna go. Born seller. Yeah, I already looked at that. We're going metal. Metal dwarves. Create a deck. You can start with a ready made, that's what we're doing. Varies by species. Or build your own. Yeah, we'll just take re ready made. Start the mission. Let's go. It's way more colorful. All right. Draconian signal locked. Nine jumps left to the destination. Good luck on your exploration, internship cadet. Explore the cosmos and karma fully, but remember your mission. Find the whereabouts of the dragons. All right, there be dragons. Details of your mission can be found in the codex. I will explore to the ends of karma to find them, sir. I will spare no resources to find them. Rich, earn credits. Guts, earn credits. Rational. We would like to be... Guts. We are dwarfs. I've already got a thousand cents. That's like ten bucks. Hell yeah. Let's go. Alright. We've got a flying space banner. Rock on. Metal Ancestry. Yeah. Let's go. Scrap cargo. Three. Max capacity 47. I don't know what overload does yet. We don't have that much hull. Communications. You can get in contact with space stations and other signals to train maneuver cards, repair your ship, among other things signal you find will vary from sector to sector. 
signals. Okay. Hug legs deal one damage on highlighted tile. So this goes right left. It's a dragon swap. Only in tiles with enemy. Requires positive impetuous. Impetus? Probably impetus. I don't know what impetus is yet. Dwarves impetus. So I don't want to pass with leftover energy. Gives bonuses to some something. Got it. It doesn't say it uses it. Okay, so I do I get to pick one of these? Use your experience to learn new maneuvers. Training known maneuvers is easier. I don't understand yet. Are these my starting ones? Orc meditation. Who knows? We're going to figure that out. Convert your scrap for credits and feel your savings rise. One scrap gives 76 cents. I have three scrap. Bam. I don't know what scrap does yet. I don't know what coins do yet. Oh, probably could use something to like upgrade these. Exhaust cards don't go to the discard pile when used. So I could pay 85 experience to upgrade or remove it. I have no idea what's going on. Searching cards. In addition to directly buying new cards, you can also search for them. Pay for info on equipment and maneuvers from the Pathfinder and Mana Guilds. You search to attract these cards to you. They may even come for free. It's karma. What? Ask around for equipment or maneuvers. Take minus one internal damage. I... That's a lot of stuff. I don't know what it means. Four scrap, minus one shield. I don't get it. Hey, this looks familiar. Sell equipment in the guild. I have no idea how I sell. I'm in the comms channel right now. I think. Press to manage them. Okay. So for these. Explode signal. Poop dash leaves bullet quark damage. Move to the furthest back. Curse jump, micro jump to random empty tile. That's kind of cool. Cloak field deal, deal damage on highlighted tile only in tiles with enemy. Swap position with enemy. That one costs two energy, but it seems decent, and it can move in any direction. I don't know if it can only move one space. I'm guessing it can only move one space. Bay capacitors move to the highlighted to highlighted random tile. Chance to gain energy exhaust common. Sounds kind of cool. Shields of patience. Chance to move ship at random. Transfers energy into shield. Exhaust. Pass turn. Uncommon. Cost three energy. You know what? I want it. I don't know why I want it, but I want it. It sounded interesting. What? Changes for one turn. All grid selections to all directions. Exhaust. Uncommon. I... Queen's Dust Shield. Two shield, move to the highlighted tile, down. Exhaust common. I like exhaust cards a bit. This one's weird because... Oh. 
Whatever. We're good. Come. What? I just want to go. Your attributes are derived from the karma of your reputations. Knack level is zero. Close the menu. Okay, how do we go? I probably click these yellow cards. Unused, unlimited, in use, six minimum. STG. Let's go. The jump panel shows the available star destinations to choose from. Each star on the panel will contain combat info, number of units, turns, and its environment. We got it. I don't got it. Okay. Open field, 13 units, one turn, empty scepter, nearby signals, queen of stra scrap, merchant guilds, pathfinders guild, 15 units, one turn. Low free. Let's go here. Who knows? Press the buttons. Okay. So I need to get some impetus. This only goes side to side. This thing explodes. Hammerhead turn. Move to a highlighted tile, then move ship backward. What? So it moves here, then moves back? I think. Hammerhead punch. Deal three damage forward. Move ship forward. Impetus. Do this. That didn't do any damage to me. This exploder could be doing bad things. My impetus is still zero, even though I just destroyed something. I think because I just used it up. I should have done this, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I have two energy left. If I went here... Let's just try that. Okay. So if I go forward, I think I'm taking one damage, but we'll see. Ah, now I do have plus one. And I'm leaving, or ending with no energy. Yeah, so I did take one damage. But I destroyed an enemy, so now I'm impetus of two. This is the last turn. Heal five damage. I kind of understand the impetus now. It does three base plus whatever the impetus is, I believe. I do want this. Move ship backward. What? I can't shoot off the screen? Kind of lame. So I could move diagonal. This one's going to explode. What is this? Mind jumper. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about this thing exploding on me. I could just move on to it. Then this one would do stuff. Could just move twice. You know what? I haven't seen one of these explode on me yet. We'll see what happens. Why do I have energy? Okay, run away. Good stuff. Your radar indicates a cursed energy approaching. It's just a box, clearly flagged, not to open it. Kick! It's voodoo! Destroy! Earn scrap. 
make the mana sign and move on. Blessed, cursed, rational. Let's go. We'll take a gamble. Generated blessed. I thought it was going to be one of them, not all of them. Okay, we got blessed, cursed, and karma. We do have a com. I don't know what com means. So I could pay a bunch of money to do something with that. Puppet hack. Only in tiles with enemy. Chance to move ship at random. Force enemy turn. That actually sounds pretty good. Huh. And it's kind of cheap. Think? I don't know. Move to highlighted tile. Knack. New hand. Uncommon. Yeah, I'll take that. Metal energy. Move to a highlighted tile in any direction. If you collide with scrap, gain energy. I do like scrap. I don't know if that one's important to me. Piercing dash. Three damage on highlighted tile. Move to the farthest front. By two random status. What? Full recharge. Exhaust knack. Uncommon. I don't understand that one. Practice. Duplicates dice from your hand. New whatever that is. New cards cost zero. Yeah, I'll take that. Rear bullet. Two damage down. Move ship forward. Ancestral miners. Requires positive impetus. Next attack that costs scrap. Do two times damage. Two times scrap. Collection for the rest of ever. For the rest of existence. It's amazing. So this is spend scrap to make scrap. Less jump, micro jump to highlighted random tile. Aggressive roll. Buy a weapon. What? Metal energy. Okay. I think I looked at all of those. We can now. Scrap mine. Leaves mine two damage. That's spending scrap. Holy expensive scrap missile. What is scrap missile? Go back. I don't know. Get out of here. It's not how to get out. The club. STG. Wait. STG again. Is there anything I can do here? Distance to draconian signal. Measured in parsecs. Okay. So we're slowly moving up towards the dragons. 25 units, 3 turns, 19, 2. Pathfinder, empty, empty. Go here. I think we're progressing forwards. Incoming threat. DM piece bitter. Doesn't say which direction the attack is. Oh no, it does. Attack down. Battery full. Attack down. I wonder if. Yeah, I still don't know if this one just attacks in the cardinal directions. I also don't know which one attacks first. I hit info. There's no indicator of the turn order. So like, will this one go before this one? Two shield. That sounds awesome. Then move the ship backwards. So this would destroy two of these. The barrel roll first. 
barrel roll afterwards. Okay. Let's go here. So, these are energy. I could either barrel roll or I can do this. Oh, I still have tons of energy. So I can do both. I'm going to do this one first. This one next. For some reason, I thought that that one was going to shoot a fireball forward. I still have an energy. Move ship forward. No. One shield. Okay, I want to see what this is. Two energy, mana clot. It's going to move to the left, decays every turn. Move to the left, returns to the board. So do asteroids just like wrap around? Kind of what I'm guessing. Three damage on highlighted tile only. So this one goes right and left. It's highlighting two. Swap. I don't understand that one yet, but that's okay. I do have a shield right now. This thing has three HP. I think I do this. Two energy. I can get rid of some of that by doing the barrel roll. And I gain shield. I also gain two energy because I just went on to an energy thing. be able to do that and then this except this thing's about to explode and then i'm gonna lose my two shield no all right the board is completely full i don't know what these three up top are doing when i hit oh i just didn't hit end turn yet still have full energy to draw more cards. Did it just take my next? I don't know what's going on. I have some scrap. So, I think I would do this. When that thing died, it exploded. I lost my shield. I still have tons of energy. Move ship forward. Still have two energy. If I go down, then I get even more energy. I'm out of cards. What happens when I run out? Kind of want to see what happens when I run out. It just shuffles me more cards. Okay. Attacking up. Think I'm good. So, stuff just happened. If I wanted to, could I just end and I would leave? I think the answer is yes.
But I gain XP by killing things. Still have tons of energy. So it doesn't seem like there's ever a way to turn my ship around. It's kind of interesting. scrap. We jump again. Taking us one jump closer to dragons. Hello, it's the goblin's hole passing in your sector. Is it difficult to find the si or it, it is it difficult to find a signal around these parts? Come chat. High volume of signals without a signature. The goblins. Dwarves aren't friends with goblins. All right, more la more lost than a fart than fart in a wind. Install one of our antennas. The first is an original guild product. This one will make it easier for you to find stations from the merchants. The second is a beauty made by a Pathfinder craftsman, and therefore a little more expensive. I don't have the credits for either of those. We're just going to close comms. Rep limit, one out of five. I've already got... Okay. For a second, I thought there was something I could do there. If I hit comm again... 923. This game both seems simple and possibly complicated. Shuffle test. Karma codex. Maneuver stack. STG. Let's go do one more area. The Merchant's Guild. The Empty Sector. The Mana Guild. Let's go to the Merchant's Guild. Okay, so when I end the turn, it deals out these cards. So 15, if I cleared out all of the enemies... I don't know. I don't understand still. I'm trying to understand. Three damage on highlighted tile. It's highlighting two tiles. And then swap. I have to pick one of the two. I understand. Kind of. I kind of just want this space debris, I think. Harmless? It would put me next to an exploder, but I think the exploder only dies if something hits it. Maybe? did make that explode and it took out this diagonal one and I think this dropped from 2 HP down to 1. When I did that, this was at 15, 5 cards got dealt. One of them is a scrap that is moving towards me. Could. So, I think we just move on to this, get more energy forward see what cards it gives me oh. 
All right. I can move forward again. That doesn't do much. The ship backward does a little bit. Let's do barrel roll onto this. So this is two scrap, but it will drop to one scrap if I don't collect it. I don't know if it drops before it moves. So like, do I get an extra scrap if I pick it up versus letting it come to me? Not sure. Swap with that, move up here. Three energy still. I have so much energy all the time. Move back. recharged so now they're scary again so mine jumper this is attacking for four damage and it explodes on something hmm. but right now I have two shields I kind of just want to see what this does didn't hurt me. Well, it did hurt me. I had two shield. I was supposed to gain two shield, and I lost that two shield, but my HP didn't drop. I think this one didn't do any damage to me, but it exploded, which caused this one to explode. I believe. I don't know. What is this? Fire blast. One damage. Uses with enemy units. Wine Cat Paradox. We'll just end the turn and lose one of my impetus. Chance to move a ship at random. Pinned, exhaust, knack, uncommon. So why wouldn't I just go here, move forward? energy left. Move up, collect the scrap. Move up, collect or move over, collect that. Oh, this doesn't move over. And this won't actually work. Jump to a random tile. Okay, I think, I think, I think, we got a message from the bank. I think that does it for this video. Next time, I'm going to continue on, and we'll see if we can make it to the dragon. For now, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.